Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a quote and send it to a prospect. So here we are inside of the account. We're on the opportunity detail page. We'll assume you know how to get to this point. The quote tab right here will require that you give the quote a name. If you want to upload something that you've created outside of the system, you can simply upload it right here and it will just store it inside the quote tab. Now this video is going to be based on creating a quote from products tracked inside the system. So once we name it, we can then click on the quote line right here. It opens up a new window. In this window is where we can add quote lines. So I've got a few various different uh, product categories in here. I can select those. If I drill down inside of the category, I can select individual products. If you have multiple price lists, you'll have to select the price list that's available. You can add a line or you can add an entire section. So sections can put products in different sections on your quote. If you grab a product category, you can edit the value here. The value in here is going to pull from, from the product that you've configured. So this is going to depend on you actually configuring some products. Now in this example I selected a product. In this one I just selected a category. So notice that the product because I set it up with the price and the cost it pulled everything through. In this one where I just set it up as a category I would then have to go in and, and put my values in. Put my categories in. If you want to change the sequence of the the order that the products sit in on your quote, you can change the sequence, zero being first, one would be the second value. The tabs up here will allow you to change some of the various info that is associated with your quote. So these are merge values, so you can put a merge value in a quote and it would pull through. So these are all, these are all merged in from the quote. And the notes sem section, these will allow you to what we'll do is we'll just put some values in each one of these. And we'll just put these in here so that you can see where they actually end up when we create the quote. Now you can preview your quote by clicking the preview tab. Here's where my introduction would go. If I, I've added a separate section, but I didn't put any products in it, so that's why this is showing blank. There's my products, my closing comment, my instruction, my disclaimer. You can see where those will all be listed on your quote. Now, this is designed to have an approval status for the quote. So you click draft, and this would say ready for approval. And right now, it's likely that you can. Uh, approve your own quote. You can talk to your administrator if there's some additional approvals required. So once this says approved, once a quote is approved, you can you can send it uh, in an email to a customer. So once we go and email that product, we can include the quote. So when I go up here to quote, you'll see that that quote is now available. So if I click that link right there, it will insert a link for this quote. So it makes it real easy to send this quote out to a customer. And of course, just like everything in the email, it will add it as a note and record it to the process log. Once this has been approved, you'll notice that I cannot edit this quote any longer. So what you would need to do is likely clone that quote. And then if you needed to make some changes to that, Let's say I needed to change the, the price list that this was quoted at. Then I would need to go in and clone that quote and save the value back to the opportunity. Now notice that this needs to be approved. If it's not approved, then I won't be able to send it. I won't be able to attach it as a quote. You can still preview that new quote and open it up here in your, in your uh, PDF viewer. So that should get you started on uh, creating quotes and sending them to customers. Thank you.